All right, so here's how we're going to start this out. If you're watching this, then that means you've probably just purchased the the Jobo Duo Film Processing Kit by Cinesteel. And I'm going to show you guys how I developed my first roll of film and give you some examples. So you see this little thing right here that I'm taking out the box? That is your temperature. Yeah, this is a very important piece. All right, so this right here, this is what you're gonna use, what is called your developing tank. All right, so we're gonna pour in 600 to 700 milliliters of water into that pitcher or egg pitcher if you don't have one. And then you're gonna pour in the color developer. All right, then you're gonna mix it. I'm using the temperature control system because as it heats it up, it also mixes it up. As you can see, it's spinning right there. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna let it do a thing, let it mix up. Cause that powder is a little bit thicker than, or it's harder to dissolve. So yeah, after doing that for a little bit, it looks like this. Looks like some watered down apple juice. And then you're gonna to top it off with just enough solution to make it a 1000 milliliters. All right, now I'm gonna mix that in there, you know what I'm saying? Let that get all good and put together. Now I'm gonna pour this out of the bottle. Mm, I don't, I don't, I, I, I'll figure it out. All right, as you can tell, I'm lost as hell. But I'm gonna keep going. All right, so now I got my second pitcher and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to fill it up from anywhere to 600 to 700 milliliters of water. All right, so I'm gonna pour that in now. And then I'm gonna mix that up. Let's do his thing. Now that, that, that smell was kind of strong and um, I found a solution. So me being proactive, here's what I did. Smart, right? Probably not. <laughs> but now look at that face, man. I bet you guys thinking I should probably never do a voiceover again. Anyway, but yeah, you really want to be sure to use this in a well-ventilated area because that smell is strong, all jokes aside, so just be cautious of that. Now you're going to pour in part B of the powder inside of the bottle, and then you're going to let this do its thing because it's going to get a little bit fizzy and, you know, it's going to start bubbling and all this and that sizzling. So just be aware of that. And then you're going to pour it back and forth between the pitcher and the canister. Also, these are very harsh chemicals i've been told so at this point i'm trying to put on gloves because i just smelled how it you know <laughs> i just smelled it so i'm like if it smells like this it's got to be bad but yeah i'm gonna pour this back and forth for like you know it actually doesn't specify how many times to pour it back and forth but i think i did it about five or six times simply because i didn't i don't want to mess this up you know I'm gonna spend all this money on something that I've, I've, for me to mess up. Now nah, I'm gonna do it right. I also, while I was mixing it, I poured it off to 1,000 milliliters, same as before, and I'm still mixing it in right now. Look at that. Look at it. Oh man. All right, so now I'm pouring it back into the pitcher. Now be sure to label these with the correct name. A is the developer, B is the bleach and fix. You do not want to get those two mixed up, so please label these correctly. It's film, this is my fault. The way that wrap that holds it, that piece of paper, I messed it up. And I kind of exposed the film. So that's my fault. But you're going to get your bag. This particular package didn't come with a dark bag, I call it, or the bag that you stick all your stuff in to put your film inside of the canister. It didn't come with that. So I had to purchase one. I got it off Amazon. I can't remember how much it was, but I put the link in the description. Once I got all that in there, I took the film off of the normal roll. And I'm telling you, I got so frustrated with this. It was ridiculous. You guys are seeing the condensed version. I promise you, I spent literally 40 minutes 
trying to get that onto that spoon. So I say that to say this, be sure, look at my face, be sure to study that spoon so you'll know where to put it on it, you know what I'm saying? Get familiar with it with your hands, look at it, so that way you can visualize what's inside that bag. I look so aggravated right here. Be aware that there's tape on the end of this film. Um, be sure to take that off, you'll feel it when you get on there. When you when we start rubbing it, you'll feel that piece of tape. So just pull that tape off and you're good to go. And here is what covers the film. Also, I didn't know that what you put on the end of the camera that rolls the film as it advances, I didn't know that they were just the regular things that the film would come in. Didn't know that. On side of the development tank, it shows the amount that you're supposed to put on there. Specifically, this tank holds 485 for the agitation. The developer has to be heated to 102 degrees. Otherwise, you might mess up your results. So you're gonna seal it off. And then what you're gonna do is, you're gonna do this, you're gonna agitate it continuously for 10 seconds. Once you've done that, you're gonna do four lifts every 30 seconds. All right, so once that's done, you're gonna pour it out. Be sure to have your phone nearby or something that's gonna keep up with the time because I didn't use the time at first. I was trying to count it in my head and that really didn't work out too good. All right, next you're gonna pour in the bleach, which I didn't show, but you're gonna pour out the developer and you're going to pour in the bleach. The bleach and fix, that can be anywhere from 75 degrees to 105. Be sure to be mindful of that temperature. And you're gonna repeat the same process. It's gonna be a continuous movement of agitation for 10 seconds, then four agitations every 30 seconds. Also, be sure to tap the developer tank so you don't get those bubbles or to make sure that it's evenly developing your film is out of there. Now, the last thing you have to do is rinse it. And you can do that for like three minutes under running water, or you can fill the tank and empty it seven times. All right, um, moment of truth. Let's see how bad I did. And I'm not gonna lie to you. I was so nervous when I pulled these out, but I was happy when I saw them. Like, I, at that point, I didn't even care if the pictures came out good. I was just happy to see that the film actually developed. Because this was a very long process. Look at that. Look at that right there. Man. You talking about somebody happy? Yes, sir. Look at that. This, this right here, that's it. Come on. I hung it up in my shower or my bathroom. Um, I let it get a little steamy, a little warm so that the lint would be floating. What I did was I tied a string to the shower curtain pipe and then I clamped it with some clamps. And yeah, did his thing. Also, I put a pin at the bottom of it to try to hang it. Cause I don't want it to curl. All right, folks, so I'm hoping that that wasn't too bad. Um, first time developing film my own self, I was nervous as hell. Really didn't know what to expect. I mean, I could follow the instructions that are given, but I still feel nervous doing it because I know that there's a small window for error, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just glad it came out, right? I'm just glad it came out. Um, you guys haven't seen it yet because I'm gonna play it after I get finished talking and I'm not gonna talk long. I just wanna make sure that you guys have clicked that like button. If you didn't click it, like bro, you made it this far, you might as well click it. Just go ahead and, you know what I'm saying? Knock it out. Also, subscribe because with you guys subscribing, you know, you get to see more content like this. You get to learn, I get to share. I'm happy, you happy, so why not just make it happen? You know what I'm saying? Just saying. So, pictures coming up right after this. There's only 10 of them. Um, it's not really anything spectacular. It's just me running around town shooting so you guys can have something to see and so I could test out my development. So, thank you, Cinesteel, for making this product. No, they didn't send me this product. I bought it. Um, I am just very thankful that I have the opportunity to do this at, the home, at my home now instead of driving 
30 minutes to go get it developed, then waiting to get it developed, then coming back 30 minutes to get it developed, then still having a scan. Now I can kind of develop it myself. Well, ain't no counter. I can develop it myself without having to worry about that. So now I'm doing the scanning and the development myself. I feel a lot more connected with my work. Now it's more personal, a little bit more intimate, and it makes you take it serious. So if you guys are looking at a way to develop your film, Cine Steel is definitely a way to go. Um, I 100% recommend it. You get 40 plus rows to develop with this with these chemicals. Um, I don't know if that's 20 for the color side and 20 for the black and white or 40 for both. But yeah, I didn't do the black and white because I'm going to save that for a later time. I'm not going to do a mixing of that because it's really just one powder poured into the water. But I am going to develop some black and white film, so that's going to be later. But yeah. Appreciate you guys for watching. Here come the pictures that I took. Hope you guys like it. My favorite one is the one that has the number four on it. When you see it, you should know which one it is. Let me know which one is your favorite and we will chop it up on the next one. Hit me up in the comments. Appreciate you.